Hello, and thank you for returning to our channel, where we showcase some of the most exceptional natural remedies for a variety of health concerns. In today's video, we will explore five powerful home remedies to alleviate joint and ligament pain. Please subscribe and hit the bell button to receive the finest home remedies and health advice every week. Joint pain is a widespread issue that impacts many individuals and can result from numerous factors such as age, injury, inflammation, and arthritis. Fortunately, there are numerous natural remedies available to help reduce joint pain and enhance joint mobility. With this in mind, we're thrilled to share valuable insights on some of the most effective natural remedies that have provided relief to countless individuals suffering from joint pain. Before we dive into these joint pain home remedies, be sure to check out the link in the description for one of our top recommendations to boost your overall well-being, life satisfaction, and happiness. Now, let's begin. Remedy number one, coconut oil, beeswax, arnica oil, calendula oil, ginger oil, cayenne pepper. Making an effective topical balm for soothing joint and ligament pain can be done using natural ingredients that have anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving properties. Here's a recipe you can follow. Ingredients, half a cup of coconut oil, one fourth cup of beeswax pellets, one tablespoon of arnica oil, one tablespoon of calendula oil, one tablespoon of ginger oil, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper powder. Instructions. One, in a double boiler or a heat safe glass bowl and a saucepan, melt the coconut oil and beeswax pellets together. Two, once melted, remove from heat and stir in the arnica, calendula, ginger, and cayenne pepper powder. Three, mix thoroughly until all ingredients are evenly distributed. Four, pour the mixture into a glass jar or tin and allow it to cool and solidify. To use the balm, simply apply a small amount to the affected area and gently massage it in. The coconut oil and beeswax act as moisturizers and help to carry the other ingredients into the skin. Why it works? Arnica oil has anti-inflammatory properties, while calendula oil helps to soothe the skin. Ginger oil is known for its pain-relieving and anti-inflammatory properties, and cayenne pepper contains capsaicin, which has been shown to have pain-relieving effects. By the way, Arnica oil and calendula oil are two natural plant-based oils commonly used in topical balms for their soothing and anti-inflammatory properties. Arnica oil is extracted from the flowers of the arnica plant, which is native to Europe and Siberia. It has been traditionally used for centuries to help reduce pain, swelling, and inflammation. Arnica oil contains compounds called sesquiterpene lactones, which are believed to be responsible for its anti-inflammatory effects. Calendula oil, on the other hand, is extracted from the flowers of the calendula plant, also known as marigold. It has been used for centuries for its anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, and wound healing properties. Calendula oil contains flavonoids and triterpenoids, which are believed to be responsible for its beneficial effects. Remedy number two, rosemary, bay leaf, olive oil, beeswax balm recipe. To make a topical balm using rosemary, bay leaf, and beeswax to treat joint pain, you will need the following ingredients and equipment. Ingredients, one cup of olive oil, one fourth a cup of dried rosemary leaves, one fourth a cup of dried bay leaves, two ounces of beeswax pellets, equipment, double boiler or a heat safe glass bowl and a saucepan, cheesecloth or a fine mesh strainer, glass jars or containers for storage. Instructions. One, heat the olive oil in a double boiler or a heat safe glass bowl set over a saucepan of simmering water. 
Two, add the dried rosemary leaves and bay leaves to the oil and stir well to combine. Three, allow the herbs to infuse the oil for at least 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. Four, strain the oil through a cheesecloth or a fine mesh strainer into a clean bowl, discarding the herbs. Five, return the infused oil to the double boiler or heat safe glass bowl set over the saucepan of simmering water. Six, add the beeswax pellets to the oil and stir until the wax is completely melted and combined with the oil. Seven, pour the mixture into glass jars or containers for storage and allow it to cool and solidify. To apply the topical balm to treat joint pain, simply rub a small amount onto the affected area and massage gently. The beeswax will form a barrier on the skin to protect it and the rosemary and bay leaf essential oils will help reduce inflammation and pain. Why it works? Rosemary contains compounds such as rosmarinic acid and carnosic acid that have been shown to have anti-inflammatory and analgesic effects, while bay leaf contains eucalyptol and other compounds that can help to reduce pain and inflammation. Beeswax acts as a natural emollient, helping to soften and protect the skin, and also has anti-inflammatory properties. Together, these ingredients can provide a natural and effective way to manage joint pain, ligament pain, and inflammation. However, it is important to note that if your pain persists or worsens, you should seek medical advice. Remedy number three, cayenne pepper olive oil beeswax balm recipe to make a topical balm using cayenne pepper olive oil and beeswax follow these steps ingredients one cup of olive oil one fourth a cup dried cayenne pepper one fourth a cup of grated beeswax instructions one in a small saucepan heat the olive oil and cayenne pepper over low heat for about 20 minutes stirring occasionally. 2. Strain the oil through a fine mesh strainer or cheesecloth into a heat-proof bowl or measuring cup. 3. Return the infused oil to the saucepan and add the grated beeswax. Heat over low heat until the beeswax has melted, stirring occasionally. 4. Pour the mixture into a clean container, such as a small jar, and let it cool and solidify. To apply the topical balm, 1. Wash and dry the affected area. 2. Take a small amount of the balm and rub it into the skin. 3. Be sure to wash your hands thoroughly after applying the balm, as cayenne pepper can be irritating if it gets into your eyes or on your skin. Why it works? Cayenne pepper contains a compound called caspasin, which is known to have analgesic and anti-inflammatory properties. When applied topically, capsaicin can help to relieve pain and inflammation in the affected area by blocking pain signals to the brain. Olive oil and beeswax are used to make the balm smooth and spreadable and also help to moisturize the skin. The beeswax also serves as a natural preservative, helping to extend the shelf life of the balm. Before we dive into number four and number five joint pain home remedies, be sure to check out the link in the description for one of our top recommendations to boost your overall well-being, life satisfaction, and happiness. Remedy number four, Devil's Claw Tea. Here's how you can make Devil's Claw Tea for joint pain. Ingredients 1 to 2 teaspoons of dried devil's claw root or 1 to 2 devil's claw tea bags 1 to 2 cups of boiling water Honey or lemon is optional Instructions 1. Boil water in a kettle or saucepan 2. If you're using dried devil's claw root place 1 to 2 teaspoons of the root in a tea infuser or strainer if you're using tea bags, use one to two bags. Three, place the tea infuser or tea bags in a mug and pour the hot water over them. Four, allow the tea to steep for five to 10 minutes. Five, remove the tea infuser or tea bags from the mug. 
6. If desired, add honey or lemon to taste. 7. Enjoy your Devil's Claw Tea while it's still hot. Why it works? Devil's Claw Tea works to relieve joint pain and inflammation because it contains harpagoside, a chemical compound found in the roots of plants that have been shown to have anti-inflammatory effects. Harpagoside is thought to inhibit the production of inflammatory cytokines, which can help to reduce swelling and pain in the joints. Devil's Claw Tea is also believed to have analgesic effects meaning it can help to reduce pain. In addition, Devil's Claw may help to improve joint mobility and flexibility, making it easier to move and perform daily activities without pain. Medical professionals think Devil's Claw is harmless, safe, and has few negative effects when used as directed and for a brief length of time. Some users may experience slight stomach issues from high doses. The safety of taking Devil's Claw for an extended period of time is unknown to researchers. Want to know more about Devil's Claw? The term Devil's Claw, Harpagophytum procumbens, a plant native to southern Africa, refers to the small hooks that cover its fruits. Devil's Claw was once used to cure fever, malaria, liver and kidney issues, and discomfort. Moreover, it was added to ointments to treat boils, cuts, and other skin issues. When Devil's Claw was first brought to Europe in the early 1900s, its dried roots were used to improve appetite, ease heartburn, and reduce pain and swelling. Devil's Claw is now frequently used in Germany and France to treat inflammation or to ease headaches, back pain, and other musculoskeletal discomfort. Studies on animals and in culture suggest that Devil's Claw may aid in the management of inflammation. High-quality research demonstrated that Devil's Claw can reduce joint pain. According to a study of 14 trials that utilized it to treat arthritis, Devil's Claw was found to be at least moderately beneficial for treating arthritis of the spine, hip, and knee. In a study of 12 studies in which it was used to treat either arthritis or low back pain, Preliminary research suggests that Devil's Claw can also ease neck and low back discomfort. It's important to note that Devil's Claw may interact with certain medications, so it's always a good idea to speak with your healthcare provider before trying it if you're on any medications or have health conditions. Remedy number 5. Turmeric, Lemon, Honey and Black Pepper Tea Turmeric, honey, lemon, and black pepper tea is a soothing and delicious drink that can help alleviate joint pain due to the anti-inflammatory properties of turmeric and black pepper. Here's how you can make it. 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of honey, half a lemon juiced, a pinch of black pepper, 1 cup of hot water, Directions 1. Boil water in a pot or kettle. 2. Add the turmeric powder, honey, lemon juice, and black pepper to a mug. 3. Pour the hot water into the mug and stir well until all the ingredients are mixed. 4. Let the tea steep for 2 to 3 minutes before drinking. You can drink this tea once a day or as often as you like depending on your preference and the severity of your joint pain. Why it works Turmeric is a powerful anti-inflammatory agent that can help reduce joint pain and inflammation. Black pepper contains piperine, a compound that enhances the absorption of curcumin, the active ingredient in turmeric. Honey has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties that can also help relieve joint pain. Lemon is a natural detoxifier and can help reduce inflammation in the body. Overall, this tea is a natural and tasty way to help alleviate joint pain and can be a great addition to your daily routine. 
However, it's important to note that if you have a medical condition or are taking medication, you should talk to your doctor before using turmeric or any other natural remedy. Click subscribe and the notification bell so you get more videos on the best home remedies and health tips. So, these are some of the natural remedies that can help relieve joint pain. However, if your joint pain is severe or persistent, it's important to consult a doctor to rule out any underlying medical conditions. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more health tips and remedies. Thank you for watching. Please be well and take care.